Hey, I thought I would do a quick video about how to um, change out an insulin pump, just for people who are kind of confused. I uh, just want to make sure I was recording. Okay. Um, this is my insulin pump. It's connected to me right now, and um, some people are sometimes confused about how it works, so I thought I would do a quick video to show you how. Um, there are three um, pretty much uh, aspects or components of um, changing out an insulin uh, pump. First is the hemolog, the insulin. Second is the reservoir. Um, if you take shots, it probably just looks like a rudimentary um, uh, syringe. And then the third is the infusion set, which is the tubing, and then the um, infusion set itself that goes inside your body. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so the, re the way I would start off changing out, which I do every three days, <clears throat> is I would get my insulin much the way you get a um, syringe ready and you just pop this on the top this all comes um, individually packaged so it's sterile um, and I'm not going to do it right now but you would push the lever down until you got the area and turn it over and pull it out till you got your insulin um, here and this holds 1.8 uh, milliliters which is like 108 units and that's what I use approximately every three days then you would just disconnect the top Disconnect this from your vial and put your vial back because you're done. This is thrown away. And then you pop this out and that's thrown away too. And you're left with your insulin. This goes right here. You can see my vial is in there right now. It's about halfway done. And right here, there is a screw that turns itself. And as it turns, this gets pushed up and more and more insulin gets pushed into your tube and through your body, you know, through the thing into your body. Um, so obviously the um, screw is very exact in how much it, um, you know, puts out every time. So you would have your vial ready, and then the second thing you would do is get your infusion set done. Um, Minimed <clears throat> has this awesome thing that um, inserts the infusion set for you, so it's completely painless. It's a lot like what comes with um, glucose meters, the way you check your blood sugar. Um, and this is the needle. It's so tiny, there's nothing to it, and you don't even feel it. And the needle's only there to have something sharp to go through your skin. It actually comes out and there's just a plastic cannula that's around the needle right now that actually stays in your body. And what you do is you just take this, <clears throat> put this in here, and you take these adhesives off because this is the part that actually sticks onto your skin. You take the adhesive off and then you push this down in till it's ready. And what you would do is you would just put this like on your stomach or wherever you're gonna put your infusion set and you hit both of these buttons and when you hit the buttons, it's gonna you know, go into your skin. Very painless, you can't feel it at all. Um, what you would be left with when it was finished, and get it out, it would look something like that on your skin. And you pull this blue part out, all this blue stuff comes out, and that's where the needle is, and the needle comes out with it, and you're left with the little plastic cannula. Um, and what that would look like is, I'll just show you on my stomach, excuse the skin here, um, that's what it looks like. And you would just unhook your new tubing from your new site, and that's all the site looks like. It's very, um, just looks like a flat band-aid with a little thing on it. It's completely painless. You don't even know it's there after a while. And um, you would take the new vial that you just made with your new tubing, and you would put the vial in, and then you put the connect the tubing to it, and you tell the pump that you want to prime the tubing, and that just pushes insulin all the way through the tube until you see it come out of the edge of this. And once that happens, <clears throat> you connect it to your new site on your stomach, and you prime one more time, which puts a, a little bit more insulin into the actual plastic cannula, so the next time you do a bolus, it's gonna immediately start absorbing into, into you because it's all of this is filled with insulin. So the first second that the uh, pump pushes any in, it's gonna absorb into your body. And what you do is you have uh, basal rates. Hope you can see this. This is what I take during the day. These are all the different amounts that it gives me during the day. For example, from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. it gives me 1.5 or 1.45 units an hour. That's spread out over those um, every hour. And there's different amounts for different parts of the day. I take less in the night. 
and that just does that on its own. It doesn't ask you about that. That's something that keeps you just regular. Um, and then if you want to do a bolus, you have this thing called a bolus wizard. And you put in here the numbers that you want. So I've got 11 um, carbs is to one unit of insulin. And then I've also got it set that um, one unit of insulin brings my blood sugar down about 22 uh, points. So say I have a little of a high blood sugar. Say I have... Um, say my blood sugar is 150 or something like that. You put that in, 157. Then you would tell it how much food you ate, 15 grams of carbs. And then it's going to tell you that it wants you to take 2.5 because it wants you to correct. The food itself is going to be 1.6 and the correction is 2.7. So it's telling me I need 2.7 units to fix my, um, my high. And then you push act again and you decide what kind of bolus you want to give a sh normal wave which gives it immediately or otherwise and then you always decide how much you get so if I want to get less or more I can do that before it actually works and then I can always just go backwards and get out of it and um, that's how it works and I just wanted to show um, people just in case they were confused